One of the great things with India is that it's an English speaking market. Um, English is the official language. It's not most people's first language and that's important to understand. Um, but it is most likely to be the language in which you will be communicating with Indian customers. Obviously, it's a market of 1.1, 1.2 billion consumers. The va it's a very poor country, so the vast majority of people there are not going to be able to afford your, your, your product or service. So it's important to know how to target the people who, who are able to afford your product or service. We've seen companies have a lot of success by targeting, for example, iOS users. So, you know, the theory being that anybody that is able to afford a $1,200 smartphone, iPhone, um, is more likely to be a, in demographic that you are charging, again, depending on your product or service. So that's a really important factor. And obviously with a, with a platform like Facebook, you can target iOS users. So the trick in India is how to access those people. All of the, the, the networks, the, the digital networks that most people are familiar with, Google's the main search engine, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they're all, they're all there, they're all available. And there, it's, it's important to be aware of emerging networks like Nimbuzz is a really popular social network that's, you know, that's, that's come out of nowhere in the last couple of years. So you need to be aware of those things. Um, but you need patience in India and you need ideally a digital sort of automation platform or something that can help you sort the, the good leads from the, 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 the leads that are unlikely to become your customers because you'll get a lot of a lot of response to your advertising, it, it, which is really exciting the first time you do it in India, but then you quickly realize that the quality is not there. So how do you get to those, you know, those core <laughs> customers?